Welcome to the second match of today's double header at the Patam Tani Stadium. Defending champions Olsen Hyundai will look to retake top spot on their own by keeping up their 100% record, standing in their way of Vitel side who've recorded just one win so far. Welcome to a very wet Patam Tani Stadium here in Bangkok in Thailand. Level at the top after BG Patam United's victory over Kaya a little earlier on. Olsen would virtually guarantee a place in the next round with 15 points. Even if they were to finish second, they would need to lose their final game to BG Patam United by a bigger scoreline than they won the original clash between those two, if that makes sense. It's the goal difference between the two sides who finish level on points that will be taken into account at the end of the group stage. 28 degrees Celsius today, very humid. And as I say, it was raining heavily for the first game and it's still raining now. It's going to be tricky conditions underfoot for both teams. Vitel looking to finish the season with a little bit of pride. They also looking to extend their 100% record. They've only conceded one goal so far. That was in the last match against Kaya. Then Jovin Bedik found a way through. Haven't scored too many goals, Olsen. Eight in their four matches so far. Vitel had a big win over Kaya on match day two. It's their only victory so far. They've only scored six goals. Pedro getting on the mark in a 3-1 defeat to BG Patam United in their last match. No Kaiki today, he's only among the substitutes. He's been a, a threat for them. We'll give you the team news very shortly once the teams are out on the field. Champions League debut for the Vietnamese. Winners last year, of course, Olsen Hyundai beating Persepolis in the final. Also won the AFC Champions League back in 2012. Been competing in this competition since 2006, also they almost perennial participants. They beat Tokyo Verde in their very first match by two goals to nil. Hong Myung Bo is the man now in charge, of course. Heinz Jürgen Gede, the German, in charge of Vitel. Is Hong Myung Bo played as a sweeper back in his playing days? You don't get many sweepers these days. Named in the 1990 World Cup squad, he was the youngest player to play in the tournament for the Korea Republic. Players have to make their way from the dressing rooms, which are at one end of this stadium. They'll walk all the way along and down the tunnel in the middle to come out in the, the more traditional fashion. few more days to go of this AFC Champions League group stages. A couple of other games going on this evening as well. Daegu against Kawasaki Frontale. That's a little bit later on this afternoon. And at the same time as this one in Uzbekistan, Beijing FC against United City FC from the Philippines. These teams do still have one more game to go. They'll play their final games on Sunday. It's the final day of action on Sunday. By then we'll know the eight teams that go through. There's one or two teams still sweating on a second place finish at the moment. Vitello, of course, know that they can't qualify, they'll just be trying to We'll put a dent in Olsen's plans, really. Olsen had to battle hard against Kaya in the last game. They only won that by two goals to one. 
despite the fact they took the lead early in that through Big Graham, who got both goals, 27 minutes and 51 minutes, the two goals. Jovan Bedic got one back for Kaya, who have defended well in their last two matches. They very nearly got a point today against BG Patam United. It was a late, late goal in that one that eventually cost them the points. It kept up BG's hopes of qualifying at least as one of the best second-place teams. So the penultimate game for these two teams. Olsen currently top of the K-League. Vitell second in the V-League with just one game to play in that league. But it's all about the AFC Champions League today. Olsen in a change strip today of White. Vitelli there familiar, all red. Dave Voltis at the back of the line there, the big central defender from the Netherlands. He's back in the starting lineup today. Your team photo is part of the pre-match formalities here. Tan Van Tiet there, the captain on the end. Let's take a look at the two teams. Olsen made nine changes for their last match with Kaya, and they've made another nine today as most of those players return. Keeper Hyun Woo, Dave Baltis, Kim Ji Hyun, and Lucas Hinterseer among the players to come back into the starting lineup. Hinterseer scored in the opening two games, while Yoon Bitgaram scored both in the win over Kaya three days ago. 4-2-3-1. Ji Hyun will play just behind Hintasir. Ki He is the captain. Sean Evans is our referee from Australia. Just his second match in the group stage of the competition after Pohang Steelers 4-1 win over Johor Darul. He was also in charge for Kaya's playoff match with Shanghai Port just over a couple of weeks ago. Vitell make four changes to the side beaten by BG Patam United. There's a changing goal as Quang Tae Tai replaces Tran Nguyen. Q Nok Hai is suspended, so Duong Van Hao comes in. Trong Dai and Du Tong are the other players that come back into the starting lineup. Jaha could be key to their forward play in midfield. He is on a yellow card, it doesn't really matter. They would miss the last game, but. A couple of players in danger of missing the last match. And the substitutes, O.C. Hun on the bench for Olsen. He scored the two goals against Kaya in the first match. There's no place for Keke Kaiki today. He is on the substitutes bench. Well, Olsen left it late in their game against Vittel, their very first game. It was a 91st winning goal from Lucas Hinterseer that sealed the points. It will be Vittel all in red to get us underway. Match day five. For these two teams in Group F, Olsen Hyundai defending champions, top of the table. Level on points with BG Patam United. A win today would put them on to 15 points. First touch for Jaha. Van Hau, who started over on the right-hand side. 
Here's Bultis, first touch for him. So they also do have the best defensive record in the K League at the moment. That's a good ball over the top. Goalkeeper will gather. Only Chumbuk Motors have scored more goals than the 30 that Hong Myung Bo's side have managed so far. Just 17 goals conceded in 19 matches. If you take into account their league form, they now have 14 games unbeaten, including the four games here. So defending champions in very much good form at the moment. Bultis, looking long for Hintersia, who's Van Tiet with a header. Stab back towards his own goal by Trong Dai, corner prevented by Kute Tai. Hans-Jürgen Gede, 64-year-old from Germany, named Vittel's technical director in 2020. He's the man in charge for the AFC Champions League campaign. Trong Viet Huang is the Coach for the league campaigns. Taiwan. Baltis. Just ran away from him slightly, managed to recover. Doi Tong goes across to make the challenge. Jahar's there as well. Good early pressure this from Olsen. And a shot that goes well wide of the target. But Garam, who scored those two goals in the last game, happy enough to try his luck. So I would imagine Olsen would have been quite pleased to see Kaiki's name missing off the team sheet today. He's been the main threat for the Vietnamese. Sung Jun. Look, a hint of handball there. Until they've got possession, so play continues. Here is Bruno Matos. Spinning away from his man. It's got Pedro going through the middle. Flipped outside to Tianan. Still moving forward here with Trong Dai. Pedro. Wayward shot in the end from Tianan, but good move from Vittel, finding a little bit of space. So it's enjoying a little bit of attacking at the moment. Tan Bin with a clearance. Chul with a throw. Solson got off to that 1-0 win we mentioned against Vitel. They beat BG Patim United 2-0. Wins over Kaya 3-0 and 2-1. First goal conceded in the last match. It's Kihi the captain. Out wide. Vaco. K. 
Tihi. Chipped over the top looking for the run of Ji Hyun, but comfortably through to the goalkeeper. Kute Tai hadn't played since 2019 season, 18 appearances in goal for Vitel. Back in their starting lineup today. Sung Jin. Based in Hanoi, Vitel. One of big rivalries, Hanoi, 1956, they're big local rivals. Previously known as Tae Kong, as we've previously mentioned, the former army club of the Ministry of Defence, now just Vitel. and have also had a cha name change along the way. They were Hyundai, Hyundai Harangi originally. Harangi meaning tiger in Korean. It's the tiger on the badge. Poor ball. Jaha. Bruno Matos. Petro goes one way. Bruno Matos went for goal. Comfortably saved by Hyun Mu. Just opened up for him, Bruno Matos. So it is a little bit slippy, it's been raining a lot. Ball will be wet. Might be worth having a few shots from distance, just test the goalkeepers out early on. given away, hint to see it, took a deflection, well, didn't take a deflection, looked to have looped up off the defender, that from Lucas hint to see it. Came on late on against Kaya on match day three, started just a couple of games, hasn't been a regular in the side, started the match day two game with BG Patam United. Pedro didn't quite get a touch on that. It was Pedro that got the goal against BG Patam United, the consolation goal. 3-1 defeat three days ago. Vaco. Deflection might send it towards Lucas Hintasir. Tan Bin. Now Jaha. Challenge from Jaha, which has been penalised. Yes, they're coming together of legs. It was Sung Jun that was the other player involved. Jaha, the man from Uzbekistan. Game's been played in his former club stadium. He used to play for. Locomotive, one of the stadiums being used for one of the groups in Uzbekistan. Aimed in towards Nok Sun, didn't quite have the pace on it to reach him. Nagoya Grampus have already booked their place in the next round. 
John Book Hyundai Motors also booked their place in the round of 16 yesterday. Good ball across, looking for him to see it. Cut out by Tan Bin before it reached him. It's good defending. Taiwan's header. It's given away by Pedro. Myung Jin. Now, Kihi. Sung Jun. Baltis. Again, a look up towards where Hintasu was making a run, but can't pick him out. They've defended those aerial balls quite well so far, Vitell, in the early stages. Pedro trying to squeeze it through for Matos. Good interception again. Well, all suddenly going to come out and try for goals in this. It may leave some gaps for Vitell to exploit. So they were pretty ruthless in front of goal in that game against Kaya on match day two, 5-0. Kaike with a couple. Huang Duck got a couple in that as well. Huang Duck is on the bench today. Sung Jun. Too far again for him to see it. Comfortable for Kute Tai. Just that quality of those final balls letting down the Koreans at the moment. Trong Dai. Far by Myung Jin, which will give a free kick to Vettel. and have got three players that will represent Korea Republic in the Olympic Games in Tokyo in the next couple of weeks or so. Lee Dong-gyong, Lee Dong-jun. Neither of those are in the starting lineup today. It was a real sense of relief that they managed to hold on in their last game against Kaya. So they'll know all about Vitell's defensive prowess after that first game between the sides, right at the very start of the competition, back on the 26th of June. Nil-nil to the 91st minute till Lucas Hintasia popped up with a winner. Heartbreak for the Vietnamese. Would have been a real feather in their cap if they'd held the defending champions to a draw in their opening match. Wasn't to be, though. Taiwan. Vaco. Baltis. Looking for the run of Hintasir once again, headed away by Van Tiet. Here's Bruno Matos again. Tiernan. Wow. 
Van Hau. Far was by Bickram. Free kicks already been taken. That's what also just need to be wary of. Those quick free kicks with Vitel trying to catch them out while they're still getting back into position. Just too high for Tianan. Myung Jin. Tussle going away with Jahar in midfield. Really competitive, the Uzbeki. Bruno Matos. He was looking to try and create room for a shot there. Just wouldn't get it out of his feet, though. Tianan. Nok Sun. Footed by Ki He. Myung Jin. All the way across to Chul. Chul and Taewon have uh, got forward on plenty of occasions in the game so far. That's Bolt is the central defender going forward on that far side. Just overhit it though. Or was just overhit to him rather. Tongue. Spinning midfield from Van Hout, Bruno Matos. He's playing quite deep at the moment, Bruno Matos, in a bid to try and get things going in that holding midfield role, just in front of Jahar and Trong Dai. They have got Kaike they can use later on if they want to inject a little bit of pace into that forward lineup. Be a free kick for a foul on Pedro. Quite heavy strapping on his knee there, Pedro. The tape they put on these days to stop the muscles overextending. It's a foul by Ki He, the All San captain. Bruno Matos with the free kick, went for goal. Comfortable for Hyunmu, who had plenty of time to see that coming. Scored just the one goal in the league this season, Bruno Matos against Ho Chi Minh City back in April. Would have had to be something a bit special to beat Hyunwu from there. Goalkeeper has only been beaten. Once, well, it wasn't Hyun Mu, it was the substitute goalkeeper that was in in the last match when he made those changes. Hong Wong Myung Bo. Jovan Bedic for Kaya. Here's Vako. Jo Su Huck was the goalkeeper on that occasion. So he has kept a clean sheet so far, Hyun Wu, in his four matches. Ki He. Baltis. Van Hau. Forced in field. Oh, 
2012, as you say, also in Hyundai were the winners of the AFC Champions League. Beat Al Akhli from Saudi Arabia in the final. Only a one-legged final back then, 3-0. It's gone for a corner off Kihi. And they came first in the group, Beijing Guan, FC Tokyo and Brisbane Roar in the group. Beat Kashiba Reysol, Al Halal and Bujonkor along the way to lifting that title. Last year they also faced FC Tokyo in the group stages. They won every game last year. Baltis. Let's not forget as well that Olsen are on that fantastic record at the moment. 13 consecutive wins. Longest winning run in the competition. Bre broke their previous best of 12. That's a good ball through for Sung Joon. Noxon was trying to stay with him. It was gathered by Tae Tai in goal. And also scored in their last 14 consecutive matches, Olsen. 31 goals in that time. The clean sheet record did go last time out, though, when Kaya grabbed that consolation goal. Taiwan. Young Jin. Making life difficult for Olsen at the moment, as they did in the first game. Vitell getting bodies back behind the ball. Vaco. Now Pedro. Bruno Matos, rather. Pedro's on if he needs him. Wins the free kick. Vaco. Yongjin. Got Taewon coming up, going on the overlap. It's a good run by the fullback. Good first time ball in. Hintasia! Good save. Well, Hintasia turned away and was celebrating. It's a brilliant stop by Q10 to Tai. Who got a great hand to it and stopped it going over the line. That had 1 0 written all over it. Hintasia's header. Look at his turning and celebrating. And then realizes the goalkeeper's actually stopped it. It's a good header, and it's a wonderful save. First real chance of the match. Could so easily have spun in off the goalkeeper's glove, but just getting a little bit of fortune, good fortune there. A nice touch from Van Hau. Doi Tong. Three in the middle. Can't pick out Pedro, though. Good defending from Kihi, the captain. And here come Olsen again. It's a good game. It's flowing end to end at the moment. So that is the clearest cut chance we've had.
in to see it. Myung Jin. Played by Myung Jin again. Let's pick around on the chase, but it will just beat him into touch. That's some nice approach play. Fashion a chance on the end of it for so Bitgaram, who's got two goals already. Not too sure he wouldn't have been offside had that cross been pulled back a little bit further. and throw. Did make an appearance in the Asian Club Championships back in the 1990-2000 season, Vitel, when they played Sioux on Blue Wings in the second round. Didn't manage to progress beyond in that competition. It's their first appearance in the AFC Champions League in its current format. It's been a learning curve for quite a few of these sides in the tournament, Vitell and both Kaya in this group. Pedro, Bruno Matos. Tiananz in space. Bruno Matos and Pedro continuing their runs to the middle. That's just in behind Pedro, couldn't get a foot on it. Nice little flick from Sung Jun. Navaco. Chase on here for Ji Hyun. It's a waiting support. He's got it now from Tae Won if he needs it. Might not need it. Falls cross field. Bitgaram. In to see it. Nice little knock back. Still, it's not clear. Tae Won. It's a quality on it now. It doesn't get it though, and it's gathered by the goalkeeper. A uh, good pressure from the Koreans. Still, they can't find a way through, though. Good ball into the path of Sung Ju. Baltis. Olsen have been on top in terms of possession. They had that really good chance for Hintersir. He's not going to catch that one. Uh, Lucas Hintersir. The Austrian. So they had to be patient in their first match. There's always the danger, of course, when you are the defending champions, that you get a little bit anxious when you can't actually find goals that you need. They are aware, of course, that BG Patam United are breathing down their necks. If they win today, a point would be enough to send them through against BG on Sunday. Pedro trying to twist and turn. It'll be a free kick, far by Jaha. 
Dave Baltis has gone down injured here, so we'll need some treatment before we can continue. It's been an all in a couple of years now, Dave Baltis, after moving to Korea. He's played at FC Utrecht in Nuremberg, Kabbalah in Azerbaijan and Heronvein back in his native Netherlands. It's Taiwan. Baltis. Taiwan trying to get an angle for the cross, challenged by Trong Dai. Decision's gone Vital's way. Mentioned Olsen's recent record coming into this. Vittel was seven games unbeaten in the V League as they headed here. So they have lost three of their four games in the competition so far. Key he forward into Sia. The flag's got up for offside. A couple of times he's straight offside in the first half. Hint Sia. Still, he's had the best chance of the half so far. That header that was brilliantly saved by Kute Tai. Given away cheaply. Hint to Sia. Nice ball played through, goalkeeper narrows the angle and makes another good save. Needs to get back, it was Ji Hyun, he denied that time. It's Vako. Myung Jin. Shot comes off the back of... Vian Tet and goes behind for the corner. Well, they were queuing up there to have shots. Lovely ball from Hintas here, just slipped through, goalkeeper was quickly off his line. It's a very good save again by... Tay Tai. Goalkeeper's kept his side in it in this first half. Key he forward for the corner. Vaco. Kihi. Hintasia. He's claiming it took a touch off a defender, but he won't get a corner for that. Wins the header again, as he invariably does in the penalty area. Chill with the ball in. Hintasia up highest. Challenge by Viantet was enough just to put him off his stride, or knock him out of his stride, should I say. Free header for Baltis, looking for Hintasir. Away by Tan Bin. Vako. Couldn't latch onto that loose ball, Tianan. 
Good play by Tae Won. That'll be a foul. By Sung Jin. Jaha. It's almost a, a very good ball for Van Hao down that far side, but it's an even better tackle from Chul. Myung Jin. Bitgaram. Just out of the reach of Sung Jin. Giving the ball away cheaply again, Olsen. Pedro. Noxon. Bruno Matos. Vitell would love to get themselves in front in this game. We'd really see what Olsen are made of then. They haven't had to come from behind as yet in the tournament. Yeah, they were already two up when Jovan Bedic scored that goal in the last match. Clean sheets up to that point. Here's Nox Sun. Oh, can't keep the ball in play. Myung Jin. Fako. Good play. Good cross as well with the outside of the foot headed away by Tan Bin. Good wide play by Vako. Valerie Kazashvili from Georgia. Made over 100 league appearances for Vitesse in the Netherlands. Played at San Jose Earthquakes as well, Vaco. Hintasir looking to get on the end of this corner. It's Bitgaran that will swing it over. Baltus is forward as well. Headed back into play by Tianan. Going to nothing. Hammered away by Bruno Matos. Vaco again. Starting to see plenty of the ball now, Vaco. Weaving and twisting and too many players for him to go through in the end. Trong Dai. Flipped by Bruno Matos. Pedro, I think, would have been offside. Pedro. Trong Dai. But uh, Jaha, rather, long range shot, which is over the top. Pedro may have picked up a bit of a knock here, whether it's that knee that's just giving him a bit of trouble that's heavily strapped at the moment. So they have got Kaiki on the bench if they had to make a change in a in a forward position. Taiwan. Final five minutes of the first half. Sung Jun. Now Myung Jin. Move the ball all the way from one side to the other. Myung Jin. Crossing again. No height this time as it was aimed towards Hintasir. Comfortably cleared. 
That's a mistake by Key here, who just ducked under the bouncing ball. And it's three against three. White shirt streaming back now. This is Tianan. Pedro goes one way. That's a good ball to Bruno Matos, who's onside. Just kept the ball in place. Still going Bruno Matos. Jaha. And then back to Trong Dai, who slashes wildly at the ball and hits it well off target. Well, it's a great breakout. Just kept the ball in play. They stopped in the middle. That old adage always play to the whistle. Came to nothing in the end, though. Not a good effort at all from Trong Dai. Probably a little bit surprised to see the ball come back to him from there. Bruno Matos just stretching out now as well. As well as an injury. One or two players coming across to take some water on. It's uh, under 30 degrees, so no drinks break today. But key heat, just a problem with that left knee for the captain. Played eight games in Qatar last year, Kihi, and also played in that Club World Cup as well. The two games against Tigres and Alder Hale. There is Kaiki. Looks like he's uh, getting himself ready. Baltis. Sung Jun. With the exception of that one chance from Lucas Hintas here, there haven't been too many chances in the first half. QT tie with that brilliant save from the Hintersea header. Had to block Bitgarum off as well. Bitgarum. Almost down to walking pace at the moment. I think they're just happy now to get through to hear the half-time whistle. I'm feeling we might see a couple of changes at the start of the second half as well. Not too sure Key he's going to be able to continue. Bruno Matos looks to be struggling a little as well. Sting's just been taken out of the game at the moment. Sung Jun. Myung Jin. Trying to thread it through for the run of Vaco, but too much on it, comfortably through to the goalkeeper. Eight shots for Olsen in this first half, seven for Vittel. Both have had a couple on target. So the Vietnamese haven't been overrun. Kihi has gone off, by the way. It's a Taiwan that's got the captain's armband on. Just a minute, Sadie time. I'm not sure they brought the substitute on. But I think they are going to bring a substitute on now. So Kihi, the captain, unable to continue. And on the stroke of half time, they are making a change. It's Lim jong yun that comes in. So first change made. There's a problem here for Nok Sun, who's down injured. 
That does mean, of course, that because Olsen have made the change while the game was going on, they can only make substitutions at two intervals in the second half now. If they'd waited till half time, they would still have had their three windows available to them. Noxon, I think, is okay. Just a second start for him. Tay one. Chol. Thready through for him to see it. Tan Bin goes with him. Chol. Cleared away by Doi Tung. Myung Jin. There is no more time. Sean Evans' whistle signifies the end of the first half. The first half that wasn't too much gap between the sides, although Lucas Hintas here did have the best chance, that flying header that was saved by Tay Tai in the Vietnamese goal. Baltis hasn't really been tested too much at the back by Pedro or Bruno Matos, and I wonder how long it'll be before we see Kai Kei on in the second half. Half-time here at the Patentani Stadium. Deadlocked after 45 minutes. Olsen Hyundai nil, Vitel nil.
Sport.
quite heavy. We had a bit of standing water on the pitch a little earlier on. Hopefully it doesn't affect things too much. Goalless at half-time between Olsen Hyundai, the defending champions, and Vittel from Vietnam. Vittel forced into a change just before half-time when Ki He, the captain, was forced off. Yong Jun has come on. Taewon has taken over the captain's armband. See if we have any changes on the Vittel side as well, because Bruno Matos had a little bit of an issue. Pedro was just feeling his uh, knee that's already heavily strapped. Pedro, he is out for the second half. Jahar directing operations. Bruno Matos is still there as well, so no changes to the 11s that's finished the first half. It is Olsen Hyundai in the white that get us underway, kicking from right to left in the second half. Reminder, Olsen are on this 13-match winning run. It's a new record. They'll want to make it 14. Lucas Hintersee there went closest in the first half. Saw his header brilliantly saved by Kute Tai. Here's Van Hau. Down the line by Chul. All the way through to Hyun Wu in the Olsen goal. Didn't have too much to do in that first half. They did manage a couple of shots on target, Vittel. They've only scored in two of their four matches so far, that 5-0 thrashing of Kaya FC and Pedro getting a consolation against BG Patam United here three days ago. Bruno Matos. Straight away, it's Vitell on the attack at the start of the second half. Goes well wide from Noxon. Picked up an injury at the end of the first half, but he's OK to continue. Reminder of the scenarios in the group. Olsen and BG Patam United neck and neck on 12 points each at the moment. Vittel have three points, Kaya yet to get off the mark. A win for Olsen would put them in charge. They do have BG Patam United to play in their final game. 15 points though should be enough if they don't go through as group winners. It certainly should be enough for Patam United as well if they can finish on 12 points they do have as I say to play each other so there will be another three points up for grabs on Sunday it's in towards Jahar just out of his reach though there's Young Yun who came on for Kihi Myung Jin Vako Nice little turn of pace from Vako. A couple of times he managed to get to the byline, wriggling away through. He's done brilliantly! Wonderful individual goal from Vako. Scored a great goal in the first game against Kaya two match days ago, and he's got another individual goal here. Weaving away in, carved his way through that Vitel defence, and the Georgian slots into the corner beyond Tai. And at the start of the second half, the defending champions have got themselves in front. Great individual goal. Got through Jahar, got through Doi Tung, and into the bottom corner. It's a brilliant goal. And it was always going to take something a little bit special to breach this Vettel defence, who, as we said, frustrated Vettel, uh, frustrated uh, Olsen for 91 minutes in the first game. Vako's second 
of the tournament. Actually sat out the last match through suspension. Will Olsen go on from there now and really take the game to Vitell or can the Vietnamese dig in like they have done previously and get themselves back into the match? Tvaco. Now Chul. Myung Jin. Hint to see it. Slowing the game down to their own pace now, all set. Baltis, Bitgaram. Vaco. Chip over the top, looking for the run of Chol. Still spotted by Tan Bin. That'll be a free kick. Nutra Ji Hyun. All San leading here by one goal to nil. Six minutes into the second half at the Patam Tani Stadium. Pedro. Baltis just did enough. Pedro felt he was being fouled there. Yong Jun. Yong Jin. Now Big Gurum. Baltus. Once again, the run wasn't picked up. It was Tay Wan trying to burst down that far side. He'd straight off side, so had to get himself back on side. Myung Jin. Now Baltus. Yong Yun. Myung Jin. Bitgurum. Navako. All the possession for the Koreans at the moment. Now Taewon is played in, but he was offside. Just went a fraction too early. It's been a feature of All Sands play throughout this competition. Taewon and Chol have played really high up the field at times. They do play a back four. They're not playing with wing backs, but they do operate almost in wing back kind of fashion. So Taewon has got the captain's armband on after the departure of Kihi.
That shot from Vaca, by the way, was just the third on target for Olsen Hyundai in the match so far. Taiwan. Myong Jin. Chol. Another good ball in. Hits a seer! Simple goal, denied in the first half by the goalkeeper, but there's no way saving that one. Brilliant ball in by Chul, just what we were emphasising about the two fullbacks. It's a pinpoint cross, it's another bullet header from Lucas Hintersia, and he has a third goal in the competition. And Onsan heading for another win here. Chul with space, whipped that ball in. Hintersia got across in front of his man, and leaves the Vitel defenders looking at each other. Good goal. Three and five matches now for the Austrian. And breathing space for the defending champions. Win number 14 in a row is very much on the cards. He's a former Austrian international, Lucas Hintes here. 13 appearances. <laughs> Offside flag up against Vaco. It's tough on Vittel, particularly the goalkeeper Q Tai Tai, who denied him to see it in the first half. Made a couple of good saves. Vittel about to make a double change. Vaco. Sung Jin. Young Jin. Faco. Intercere just holding his position. Faco's already waltzed his way through on one occasion. Wanted to go back that time. Korean league season resumes on the 21st of July. They've got back-to-back -back home games also to restart the season against Daegu and Suwon Blue Wings. Looking to close out another K-League title, of course. Have only won the K-League on two occasions, 96 and 2005. They probably feel they're due another win. Runners-up in 2020, hence qualifying for this competition. Hintersir. Vaco. Chol. It's almost given away to Bruno Matos. Hintersir. Trying to play the little give and go with Sung Jin. Now, Bruno Matos. Tianan. Bruno Matos. Takes a deflection, he goes for a corner. Now, will they make the changes now or will they wait for the corner to be taken?
And we are going to see the changes. Trong Hung is coming on. Pedro and Van Hau are coming off. Kaiki's on as well. See what they can do from the corner. Take it short to Nok Sun. Back out wide again. Good header away by Pintasir. Back on defensive duty. Doi Tong. To the feet of Kaiki. Did well to gather that. The little backflip from Jaha. Kaiki, another Brazilian. A lot of Brazilians in the Asian leagues these days. Kaiki, one of them. It's going to be a yellow card for Doi Tung. Just a hand in the face of Ji Hyun, which was spotted by Sean Evans, the referee. First yellow card of the game. Baltis. Down the line again for Taiwan. Did well to keep the ball in play. Given away to Trong Dai. Bruno Matos. It's Jaha. Tianan. Bruno Matos. He'll flick over the top looking for Tianan. That'll go through to Hyun Wu, who hasn't touched the ball much in the second half, the Olsen goalkeeper. Are they on their way to a fourth clean sheet in five matches? Chol goes all the way back to Young Yun. Really threatened in this second half. We tell they have made a couple of changes. That's a strange ball. It's given possession away. Not too sure what Ji Hyun had on his mind there. There was no one there in that position. Taiwan had pressed forward.
Chianan plays the ball out off Noxon. Tianan loses possession. Just a little bit clumsy in a, in a good position. They've won the ball back, though. Bruno Matos. Kaiki. Doi Tung. Did it away before he could reach the goalkeeper. Tianan. First time ball in Bruno Matos. Doi Tung can't get a shot in at the moment. Too many players back behind the ball. Needs a good quality cross now. Kaiki's header onto the roof of the net and gone for a corner. Well, better from Vital, who finally managed to get the ball into the danger area. A good cross from Tianan. Kaiki's header just flicked off the defender. Trong Dai with the short corner. Deep delivery to over Jaha and behind for a goal kick. Another wasted opportunity, really, for the Vietnamese to try and get themselves back into this. Vital subs warming up. So they have made a couple of changes. Mandung and Kaiki coming on. Here's the substitute that came on earlier on with Kaiki Mandung, third appearance off the bench for him. Has made just one start for Vitel so far, that was last season, hasn't started at all this season in the league. Vaco with that brilliant opening goal, here's Bitgram, now Chul. Myung Jin. Away by Doi Tung. Kai Ki. It's a good header by Yong Jun, the substitute. Hinter Sia. Nice little reverse ball looking for the run of Ji Hyun. Ji Hyun again. Stabbed away by Van Tiet. Now Kai Ki. Bruno Matos, Kaiki sets off on a forward run. Tianan's already put one good ball into the box. Kaiki. <laughs> Trong Dai. Yes. Bruno Matos just turning away from his man, finding a little bit of space in that midfield area at the moment, but just got those white shirts back behind the ball also, making life a little bit more difficult for them. Played out wide by Jaha. Mandung. Bruno Matos. Kaiki.
Doi Tung just pointing where he wanted the ball played and gets it from Kaiki. Comes out to Bruno Matos, weaving his way through, can't find room for the shot, still going Bruno Matos. Wanted too much time on the ball and ends up going to ground. And now a break on here for Olsan. That's a lovely ball. He was inside his own half, Fako, so he's onside. Hintas here in the middle. Can Olsan make it three? Not a great ball in from Vako. He was trying to just dink that one over the defender, but it ended up going straight to his feet. Reminder that this, if they can hang on here to win, almost double the number of passes. Um, also, they would go on to 14 consecutive victories in the AFC Champions League. On to 15 points at the top of the group. Goya Grampus qualified uh, with 16 points. They dropped points in just their final game of the season. Also, they're making changes here. Hai Yun coming off. Se Hun and Hyung Min are coming on. Se Hun has a couple of goals to his name. Scored two in the first game against Kaya. So the only other team with a 100% record in the competition at the moment is Kawasaki Frontale, who are in action today in Uzbekistan. They and Olsan, the only teams at the moment that can go through with six wins out of six if they can keep the record going. Here's Vako. Man Dung picked up a yellow card, by the way, earlier on. Myung Jin. Here's Se Hun. It's the other substitute, Hyung Min. Nicely guided out to Tae Won on that far side. Three days' time, don't forget the final games in this group to round off the tournament. BG Patam United will be the opposition for Olsan. Vitel will play Kaya again, looking for a repeat of their performance on match day two when they put five past the side from the Philippines. But defensively, Graham Harvey's side have tightened up a much better now. So they only lost 2 1 against Olsen Hyundai. Good ball down the line for Tay Wan, but it'll beat him into touch. That's offside anyway. Group J pays out to a close tomorrow. Double header for you in Buriram. Kichi from Hong Kong against Cerezo Osaka and Guangzhou against Port. Good ball in Hintasia. Heads over. Wasn't a great header that time from Lucas Hintasia. Certainly not as good as the one he scored with earlier. Good ball. He was in behind the defender, just lost the cross as it came in. 
left-hand bin. Little over a quarter of an hour to go then. Olsen Hyundai leading by two goals to nil. Vaco three minutes into the second half and Hintasia seven minutes later. Bruno Matos. Doitung. Comes off the shins of Myung Jin and stays in, gathered by Chul. Throw in right in the corner. Free kick to Vitel, foul on Doi Tung, who was just tucked over by the substitute Sehun. Here comes the change. Bruno Matos is the player that's going off. I don't think he realises he's still trying to stand over the free kick. He says he wants to take the free kick first before the substitution's made. will be his last action in the game. Huang Duck is the player that's going to come on. It's a Lin swing towards Hyun Wu. Players are coming from deep. It's a, too close to the goalkeeper. Wasn't a great free kick. He was determined to take it before being substituted. Say Hun. Just allowed to run out of play by Tan Bin. Now I think the substitution will be made. No joy today for Bruno Matos. Substitution four, Wittenhill FC, player number 18, Bruno Matos, replacing by player number 28. Hong Duck coming on. Scored in the 5 0 win over Kyra. Actually scored the first goal after just two minutes in that game. Off the mark very early. Here's Jahar, can he get his side back into the game? Can they get a, a lifeline? The goal now would set us up for a, an interesting final 10 minutes or so. Trong Dai. Tianan. Doi Tong. It's the byline again, he's over, hit the cross there. That'll go all the way across for a throw-in. Away on the far side. Double change here for Olsen. Sung Jun is coming off. 
and Chung Yong is coming on. Let's wait and see who else they're bringing off here. And it's Myung Jin that's going off as well. Yong Wu comes on for a third appearance off the substitutes bench. Chung Yong making his second appearance from the bench. So fresh legs on just to reinforce this lead in the final 10 minutes. Final throw of the dice from Hans Jurgen Gede. Two more changes to come. Chol. Sehun. Just managed to keep the ball in place in behind Hintersia. Out wide by Yong Wu. Taiwan. Diving header from Sehun, who'd got himself back into position, but it just guides it wide of the post. Changes will be made. Good header from Sehun, got in front of Doi Tong. Tianan is one of those coming off. Huang Min on for a second appearance as a substitute. Trong Huang is also on. Has started a couple of games, the number eight. Boltis. Cut out. Goalkeeper's a long way off his line. It's just over the top. Well, the Koreans getting themselves in all sorts of trouble at the back, giving the ball away. And it was Huang Duck who only came on, what, five, ten minutes ago, spotted Hei Hyun Woo off his line and was only just too high. Baltus. Hyung Min. Away from Kaiki. Baltis. Vako. Yong Wu. Interseer sets off on another forward run, trying to get in between the two central defenders. It was Tan Bin's header. Gathered by the goalkeeper, Taewon putting him under pressure. It's not been a bad first start to the competition for. Quang Tae Tai made that brilliant stop in the first half from Lucas Hintasir. Nothing he could do about the two goals, the brilliant solo effort from Vaco and then that bullet header from Hintasir.
Young Wu. Nice little flick down the line by Taewon. And back inside Taewon, Hinter Sears in the middle. Pull back towards the edge of the penalty area for Sehun. Another good save by the goalkeeper. Fako to keep this alive. Chol. Turn by Vaco again. Say Hun. Hint to see it. With a good ball in. It's Say Hun taken on the chest. Goalkeeper can't keep it out this time. And the second half substitute, oh, Say Hun, gets his third goal of the competition beyond the goalkeeper who could do nothing either that time. Kute Tai and Olsan easing their way to another comfortable win in the end. The pressure finally tells, there were four lining up in the centre, nice chest on the turn. Goalkeeper got a hand to it, but well, there was too much pace on the shot. Just allowed Sehun too much space in the penalty area. Had a loan at Gimchin Sangmu last season. He didn't score in his four matches, but well, he's maybe alerting his coach here that he knows where the net is, having come off the bench on four occasions now. Because Hyung Hong Myung Bo looking to try and guide Olsen to the AFC Champions League for the first time. It was Kim Do Hoon that guided them last season. He's just taken over as coach of Lion City Sailors in Singapore. And that particular stat you've just seen there, of course, applies to Vitell, who are playing in their first ever AFC Champions League campaign. They'll hope it's not the last. Away by Kute Tai. Baltis. Taiwan. Had a good game, Taiwan, as has Chul on the opposite side. We've been full of praise for the fullbacks and the way that they get forward. Chul's cross was pinpoint for him to see his header. There's some tired looking players out there now, particularly on the Vitell side. Looks like another soul destroying defeat for them. Lost to Olsen, that 91st minute goal in the opening game. They beat Kaya 5 0. They were riding on the, the crest of a wave after that, but couldn't follow it up with back to back defeats against BG Patim United on match days three and four. And another defeat heading their way here. One game to go for them. They'll take on Kaya on Sunday. Sehun again, straight to the goalkeeper, stings the fingers of Kute Tai. Turning field by Trong Huang, here he is again. He's got Kaiki outside him, haven't seen too much of the ball Kaiki since coming on. Trong Huang makes a, a decoy run, Kaiki tries to get to the byline, can't get the ball across, he's got support from Huang Min. Now Trong Dai, comfortable for the goalkeeper, Hyun Wu. And then bowled out quickly to try and get his side moving forward, looking for a fourth goal here. Vako, Hintasia sets off on one of those clever runs. Bends his run to get away from the defender really well, Lucas Hintasia. Old-fashioned centre-forward style. Chung Yong. Van Tiet sliding in to get there ahead of him to see it. Hyung Min. Chul. 
Sehun, back to Chul. Sehun's it cleverly pulled away from his man once again. It's a heavy touch, though. Three minutes added time, we're into that now. Is there a consolation in this for Vittel? Here's Trong Huang. Huang Duck. Jaha. Seems to have gone a little bit anonymous in the last 15 minutes or so. Jaha hadn't been on the ball too much. Van Tiet. Now Huang Duck. Man Dung. Trong Huang falls back to Jaha. Kaiki's come short again. They just can't find a way through these white shirts at the moment. Huang Min. Huang. Trong Huang. Good ball across, just a stretch. From Man Dung in the middle. Still, it's not cleared away. Now it should be from Baltis. Took a push in the back on Sehun, which has gone unpunished. Jaha's a long way out here. Straight at the goalkeeper. Almost telegraphed that one to the goalkeeper. Had plenty of time to stand his ground. Hyun Wu. It's moved a little bit in the air, but nothing to trouble the goalkeeper. The knees of Sehun. Let's see the second chance to gather. Referee just having to take a little bit of evasive action. It's cut out again by Hyung Min. Yong Wu. Three minutes up. And also Hyundai's impressive defense of their AFC Champions League title continues. It's a fifth win out of five, just one goal conceded. Another goal today for Sihun. Hintasir was on the mark as well, as was Vako, who got them on their way. Vital's brave resistance that lasted 91 minutes in the first game, lasted 48 minutes today. Olsen make it 14 wins out of 14. The records keep getting longer. Vital will have pride to play for when they take on Kaya in their final game. A point will be enough for Olsen to seal top spot and book their place in the round of 16, guaranteed. Full-time score here at the Patentani Stadium. It's finished Olsen Hyundai 3, Vitel FC 0.